this week's um, poll on the Perfect Talk Show was, would you fill out a girlfriend slash boyfriend application to be with someone you like? 40% of people said yes, and 60% of people said no. No. I would that 56%. I would, I would fill it out. I've given someone oh. a... Uh, that's 60. 60% said no. Oh, okay, 60% so said I'm no. So I'm with that 60%. I've given someone a Bay application before. Of course you did. Like, so of course I'm for it. I'm with it. Like, I, I, think, that it's a, I think that it's a good thing. Um, no. Um, you just missing a connection with the person by doing that. Really? Yes. I want to talk to you face to face. I did the body. I did the body. Okay, like I, don't, I feel like that's California King Bear. <laughs> like, why are you singing Rihanna's song? I don't even know the song. <laughs> you don't know California King Bear? No. By Rihanna. No. In this California oh. King Bear. I've heard it, just don't know it. Okay, whatever. Um, so I'm with it. Ron's against it, but I think we're against a lot of stuff a lot of times. I think the only thing we agreed on today on today's show was the Dear Twitting Beauty. Yeah. The Dear Twitting Beauty was, um, how would you react if your boyfriend of five years um, showed up to your birthday party with a new girl? That's so disrespectful. It's better than I am. I'm fighting. <laughs> no, we're not fighting unless she knows where she's going. Okay, so she got in the car with the intentions of knowing that she's going to the birthday party. Of, of the ex-girlfriend of five years. Then that's disrespectful. Then that's an ass with it. If not, then it's like, just talk about how behind her back. But how are you supposed to know that's what I'm saying? Like, am I going to welcome to her like, hey girl, did you know that you were You asked him. Because your dumb ass invited him. <laughs> that is dumb to invite him. That's what I didn't think about. So thank God so. for Ryan, because I didn't think about how dumb it would be to invite the guy. So that was just a scenario that, uh, you know, the scenario for the Dare Tweeting Beauty. But, um, Dare Tweeting Beauty is usually, like, just an advice column, so if you have any advice that you want us to give our opinion on whatever you need help with, you can email me at, um, imperfectbeautyblog at gmail.com, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Welcome to the Imperfect Talk Show here on Malco Radio Music and Minds Meets. I'm your host Deja along with Ron. Hello. You sound all sexy. Ron. I can't. Okay, so it's finally freaking February. Finally. January lasted for like ever. Yes. Like it just took so long to end. I just thought it would never end. So it's officially Aquarius season. So do you know Aquarius season been started though? Well, for me, but I, I'm like really like weird on that stuff. I feel like it needs to be February for mm -hmm. really the Aquarius season. Aquarius started like, getting it. It's been in towards January. It was like January 20 something. Three or four. Because then my sister's in Aquarius. I think it's the 20th actually. Okay, so do you know anything about Aquarius? Okay, so what I want to say about Aquarius because whatever. So the Aquarius strength and weakness. So the strengths are they're progressive, original, independent, and humanitarian. I would agree. Their weaknesses, they run from emotional um, expressions, temperamental, uncompromising, and aloof. You think so? Do you know? I don't really know anything. Think about your sister. She's 17 years old. I know. She's a, she's a teenage girl. She's definitely going to be aloof then. Okay, so Aquarius are born shy and quiet. But on the other hand, they can be very energetic. They are deep thinkers and highly intellectual people who love helping others. They are able to see without prejudice and on both sides, um, which makes them people who are easy to solve problems. I agree. I think my mom's like that. Um, although they can um, easily adapt to the energy that surrounds them, Aquarius are born. Aquarius born have a deep need for some time alone and away from everything in order to restore their power. They're an air sign, and as such. Um, they use the mind as uh, every opportunity. If there's no mental stimulation, they are bored and lack of motivation to achieve the best results. So that's a little something about Aquarius people. I, I think that I can attest to that. My, all of my friends are Aquarius. Except for you. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so not only is it, you know, you know, freaking February, but it's also Black like History Month. And yeah. Valentine's Day is coming. Wait, wait. It's around the corner, and, uh, yeah. yeah. So next week is going to be our Valentine's Day show, and I'm super excited for it. We have a special caller calling in. He's an astrologist. Um, his Instagram name is Spiritual Twin. He's a twin. 
It's really cool. Nice. His Instagram. Uh, but he's going to give his love advice and the best signs to date and all those types of questions. So I can't wait. Make sure you guys are staying tuned for that. What if he says Sagittarius and Gemini are the best signs to date? I would be like... I know you lie. You lie. You lie. Uh, so soon, so we we kill each other. We we're better off our friends. I think that we would probably really kill each other. Uh, you're first. I'm killing you. Why? I feel like you're the worst. You're the worst. Me? What makes me the worst? Get out of Gemini. Like, you don't know which way you want to go. Left or right, up or down. I feel like that's everybody. Forget just no, being a Gemini. No. no, there's something different between Gemini's. Like, you guys are, like, so two-sided. Like, you are legit that your sign. That thing that goes there. Like, you are legit. The balance. I, I'm not the balance. That's Libra. I'm a twin. I have two people in me. I'm three people. Because I'm me, I'm the worldly me, and then I'm the good person, and I'm the bad person. So I have three people in one trying to make it in this world, okay? Nice. You know how hard that is? No, I don't. Yeah, you wouldn't know. So just don't judge it, because you don't know how oh, hard it is. relax. Relax. <laughs> so when we come back, we're going to go over last night's poll and the results. And also my Dare Twitty Beauty, because I haven't done that in freaking five ever. My email is still open for it at a perfect beauty blog at gmail.com. Um, but however, this Dare Twitty Beauty is just a scenario, not so much actual question. But so, yeah, when we come back, this is something new um, featuring Ty Dolla Sign by Wiz Khalifa. This song makes you want like a summer boyfriend. So last night poll was. Was would you fill out a girlfriend slash boyfriend application to be with someone you like? So I have forty four percent yes and fifty six percent no. I was at fifty six percent. You wouldn't. I feel like I feel like when you when you think about contracts something like that that's almost like marriage because basically when you're married you sign a contract with that person. Like you're gonna be with me, blah 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 blah. But as far as boyfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend, like that's just too soon to be trying to sign a contract. Like you're setting yourself up for doom. But it's not really a contract. You're filling out an application. It's not like wait. So okay, an application. Like I'm you know, sure. you got a job application to be okay. with someone. Like you know, to be at the job, you're filling out this application, and you gotta be approved for the job. Like it's an application. So it's not really a contract like let's be together and we will make sure we're together forever. It's more of like a am I applicable for this position? That's just stupid. Cause like you're set <clears throat> well you anyway you're gonna set yourself up. Only because like that application can be totally like you gotta be like this, this, and the third. And if I don't fit those qualifications, but I'm a good person at heart, you just lost a good guy. Because like your father has to be an application. Let me see like if I'm applications I can give let you see the question. <laughs> Because, I mean, I think it's funny. You know, there was this one guy I was talking to. I had just met him. And um, I had just met him. And I was going to, I was about to ask him to fill out this Bay application. He, like, I sent it to him and everything. But I couldn't, I didn't stick around talking to him long enough for him to actually, like, send it back to me that he filled it out. But I just. He gave you the opportunity to send it to me. Yeah, but he let me send it to him. So. No. That's the funny part. So here's the one that I've seen. It's called the official boyfriend application. I don't know. I wish I could see it. So basically, acts like your legal name, your height, and all that stuff. Your contact information. Um, yeah, your contact information, your educational background, getting to know you, and like yes or no check boxes. But that's all stuff you can ask. Person, person. Like, you know, you know, I think it makes it fun. You know, you're missing that, that connection there. You're missing that connection. Of talking to someone again? Yes. I don't know. I thought it was funny. I thought it was like, I think it would be like a mm -hmm. funny thing to do. That it could be funny, it could be creepy. Like, someone just slides this application and fill this out. It's like, what would what? you just want to fit to you? I'm walking away. <laughs> So you want to talk to Because you're not giving a chance to get to know me. You want me to fill this out prior to you getting to know me. Like, no. Okay, all right, fine. So what if it was like an, another type of, what if it's another type of application after you guys go through that phase of all those questions? It's like another application of like next level application. Or like something else. Or you're just chalking just, the application I just feel like that. this whole application thing is dead. It's chalked. Really? Okay. You're missing the point of a relationship to get to know me face to face, eye to eye, dress to dress. Okay. Cheek to cheek. Okay, Rihanna. What's that? California. Chest um, to chest. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, okay, so no on that vacation. Some people say no. Some people say yes. What, so about, what do you think? What would you do? Well, you said you sent it. I sent it to some guy, but it was like a joke. But I really, but I was really looking forward to him filling it out. Of course you were. But shut up. But it was a joke, also. But it was just like if he really fills it out, then oh, okay, that'd be really funny. Like it's really cool. Like I think, I think it's like I like little fun stuff like that. But I do understand what you're saying. But it's still, I think it still works out fifty fifty because with him. He was gonna, I sent him the application, but we were still having a conversation and then me and him filling out. I didn't expect him to sit there and fill out all of my day. I think the one I sent was really long. It wasn't a boyfriend application, it was a date application. What's the difference? This one had different questions on it than this one. Such as? I don't know, it was just like a, um, let me see if I can find it. Oh my God, I wonder if it's in my email with him. But it was like a, it was just so different. But it was like really long because he was like, I asked him like a lot of questions about like ex girlfriends, and it was just, I thought it was really funny though. Let me see if I can find it real quick. No, I don't know if I have to like try to check my email or something then. Uh, maybe on the break or something, but I don't know. I just thought it was, I thought it was a cool little, little thing to fill out. But um, okay, so yeah, I think it would be fun in a way, but then. I do understand what you're saying, but I would do it. Like if I feel like I can joke with the person and me and the person could like joke, we could do this application thing. And I think we could, like I would fill it out too. We could both do it. Mm -hmm. Like I think that'd be funny. So would, you, so would you do a friendship application? A friendship application to be someone's friend? Yes. <laughs> um, I yeah. It's basically the same. Thing. I would do it. I mean, yeah, we could have a friendship application. But isn't it just weird though? Cause like, like yeah. your friendships are just are made out of natural connections. And so is a relationship. Exactly. But it adds something fun to it. So you know how I said this is different, but you know how like people do like best friend tags on like YouTube with their best friend, mm -hmm. and they ask with their ex girlfriend, okay, so what's my favorite color? And you have to figure that out. I just think that we could have like a cheat sheet already. It's like studying to play. <laughs> I'm trying to make sense out of nonsense, but I I think it's funny. I think it'll be cute thing to do. But I, I wonder what people would like the people that go to yes. I need to know like why, why they would like do it. Because the more the reasons of no is more is more logical than the yes. Well, what was your reason of yes? My reason of yes because I think it'll be fun. It's like a cute little thing. I like but I like little to, do cute but stuff like that. To it being cute or funny. There was, you also said you were serious about it too, so like... My was, serious part was because I wanted to see... Well, when I was doing it with this guy, because he was so like... I think it was like a testing thing. And the thing is, you do it to people who you know you, who you think you can do it to. Because I wouldn't have asked a certain guy to do this, but I asked him because I just felt like I could do it to him. But like he, um... At first I just wanted to see if he was going to follow through with it. Like, are you like... I was telling him like little romantic stuff. I thought that was like cute little romantic things I sent it to him. And I, I wanted to see if he was going to follow through with doing it. Like, if we're going to be talking, then I think that you should be a man of your word. If you say you're going to fill it out, then fill it out. That would be enough for me to get. But don't say you're going to do it if you don't really have no intention of doing it. But he could be telling you just to shut you up too. Okay, but that's not being a man of your word. I'm going to like stuff like that. I would. Yeah, I got you. I'll fill it out. And I'm not gonna talk to you no more, so we just both in a lose lose position. <laughs> Who said I was losing? Whatever. But uh, that's what happened with him, specifically. So, I don't know. So, you're no. Yes. I'm 50 50 on it. I think I'm more of yes. I like I it. I think you're more of yes. Yeah, I'm a yes person. Weirdo. You're a weirdo. Okay, so whatever. When I'm gonna go, <laughs> when we come back, I'm gonna go over. The tweeting beauty, they're tweeting beauty in a scenario with it. I'm excited. I want to get your opinion on the situation. What is that? I'm not telling you yet. I'll tell you when we come back. Since I've been with you, are you ready? Yeah, we should have played. Uh... I love 
push a long way, you know what you have. Basically, it'd be open for like your questions, so you could give um, expert advice or like whatever. Um, but this time, this time, the Stair Training Beauty is a it's a scenario. So the scenario is: so what would your reaction be if you and your birth boyfriend of five years just broke up about a few months before your birthday party, or like your birthday, and you're having a party or a dinner, and he says to you, you know, like. You know, we've been together for a while. It's still your birthday. I know how much, you know, your birthday board ever means to you. I want to come celebrate it with you. You know, be there for your birthday. And he gets there to celebrate with you and he brings the new girl that he's dating. That's so confusing. At what point did they break up? They broke up a few months before her birthday party. Oh, okay. Whoa. 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 So he brought the new girl. That is bold. What would you, what would you do? What would your reaction be if somebody did that to you? Honestly, it would be like a bunch of mixed emotions. I don't know. Anger, I... sadness, rage, heartbroken. But you love him. Well, you love her and him, so you're happy that they, they're there. When I wouldn't even be happy. I would Wait, fight. Okay, so like she fight. loves him enough that she wants him there. Like so, he says. Does she know that he has a new girl? Well, I think, okay, let's just say, okay, so let's put it both ways. Let's say that she does know. She's seen on Instagram, they posted a picture together. But she, like, he's... Why you even like them? But, but no, she invited him. He says, I'm, I want to still come to your birthday party because, you know, you mean a lot to me, ask you my whatever. You think she should have said him to him now? I don't think she shouldn't invite him because, like, that's still a first woman. Like, the alcohol still burns. Okay, but let's just say she didn't know. She doesn't know that he's talking to somebody now. He walks in the party with her. That's a gut freaking... Oh my god, that's a gut punch. Like, he must want to die that exact day. Yeah, that's a gut punch. Don't walk into my party with no girl that, you, that you're that you dating after we just broke up. It's exactly. Don't do that. Still, oh my god, I'm gonna get mad. Like, relax. <laughs> relax. That just made me mad. Get it together. Anyway, I just think it's just really disrespectful for him as a man that to someone that you love for five years to then bring some new fresh meat only for a couple months to meet the one that you, at some point you you thought about marrying this person so that's just out of pocket so it's just disrespectful it's disrespectful yeah. across the board so the girl's <clears throat> reaction was she should she play it whoop cool that, whoop that deep that <laughs> Yeah, I'm a fight. Listen, I'm really trying to think. I'm really trying to put myself in that position to know what listen, I would do. As she, I'm pretty sure she got some men cousin there that gonna be on his top. I was just and her female like cousins this. are gonna be on her top. Like, no. But honestly, you can't even blame a girl unless she knows. Like, oh, unless he told her we're going to my ex-girlfriend's house for her birthday, then you can't even blame her because she knows nothing. But she's all right. Like, we're getting to that point. I would be like. That's stupid. A lot Why would of you times, go? See, okay, here's the problem. I have. Here's the thing I have with females. A lot of times, I'm basing my judgment off of Jerry Springer. <laughs> what? So a lot of times, when the guy is cheating, or right, even though this is a different topic, so it's not, when the guy is cheating, a lot of times the female blames the other female if she knew nothing about yeah, the like situation. Yeah, I don't like that. So like, when I was saying like, oh yeah, the girl and her cousins would jump her. That's only. If she knew where she was going, if she knew she was going to the party of my ex-boyfriend's girlfriend, my ex, whatever, the ex-girlfriend, 
party in five years, then that's then that's a that's a beat down. It's a, it's disrespectful for her to go. Exactly. Okay. Now she did not know you cannot do anything but just stare her up and down and just talk behind her back. Okay, but then that's the thing. How is a girl? So am I supposed? To, like, let's just say this is me. Am I supposed to be like? Walk up to her like, did he, did he tell you that I was his ex girlfriend and you was coming to my party? Do I walk up to her and say that? That means you're too bothered. That means you're too bothered. It's my birthday. I am bothered. Don't you bring no girl to my birthday party. But at the same time, this girl might be a uh, new friend, a new acquaintance. You always say that. But we cannot, because you cannot jump to a conclusion but like, oh yeah, you're the new girlfriend. Like, can't we do that? But that's just like that's that's ridiculous. So how would but you? But like even you as a birthday girl, why are you inviting him? Because that's my that's my like so let's just like if it's a relationship, but that's you're but that's a friends. friendship. Not, no, that's, uh, can we like in America we want to put this on record? Oh when you break up with someone, there is no possible way you guys can be just friends. There's no way. I mean, give yourself maybe like. Five, ten years, probably, but not even not even a month or a year, a weeks later. You can't be like, oh, you're with friends. It cannot happen. You cannot go from one day having sex with a person, being with this person, cuddling with this person, to then having no connection at all to just being friends. It cannot happen like that. Okay. It takes a lot of time and growth and energy to like heal yourself from from no longer being that person like no more. Friends, no. Five, ten years. So you think it was stupid to even invite? Oh, the girl to the birthday party. For, I think it was stupid for him to, for you to invite him to the party. Right. And the reason why that's what I meant to say. Okay. That makes sense. I don't, I guess that makes sense. I'm just saying, like, you got, because, like, if you're talking about, like, a, a wound that's still freshly open, to then, like, throw some salt. But you know how girls can be so naive? So, oh, we have to be realistic. Girls, we, we're emotional, so we get, we'd be, like, real, um, yeah, we be emotional, like really naive about certain stuff. So it's just like, okay, well, I mean, at the end of the day, and if it is fresh, you still kind of want that back. So you're just like, okay. That's when, the, that's when you have like some good friends around you. Like when you see like, a guest list of who, who you like, and you see his name, that's the one point. Like, yo, nothing says don't invite him. Like, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to get him back. And then now you're playing a game, because now you're playing a game that he wants no part of. Which is salty when he steps in there with a new girl. Exactly. Don't salt back onto that one. Oh my god, but why would he even like why would you do that? Why would you come to my party with a with with another female? Okay, so just to recap, the question and the scenario of the Dear Tweeting Beauty was how would you react if your boyfriend of five years, you guys broke up for like you guys have been broken up for a few months, your birthday comes up, you're having a birthday party slash dinner or whatever the case may be, and he says to you, you know what, I want to be there for you for your birthday, like you know I want to come celebrate you, celebrate with you for your birthday. You're like, okay, cool. He gets to your birthday dinner or your party and he brings a new girl he's been dating. That's the question. So Ron's like, not only is it disrespectful we agree on, but Ron's saying that. The girl shouldn't have ever even invited her ex to the party to begin with, because that's just like throwing salt. But it's not like you said the ex invited himself and said, let's do something out. We're hanging out with your favorite birthday. Yeah, but he's saying, like, okay. So I think, okay, I said, I think in the, uh, my opinion of it, it sounds like. Because even that's still wrong, too. It's just either way. Don't bring the new girl. The principle of the matter still stands. I mean, because you can, if that's the case, then he like, I want to take you out for your birthday and I want to introduce you to a friend. I would go off. And then that's, because like you said, we can't you, be friends. That's exactly that's the whole point. Yeah. You cannot be friends a year from the, after if you talk about five years. Yeah. Five years. That is a lot of time to be with that person to now not be with the person. Right. You talking about friendship? That's true. No. They ain't that much friendship in front of our own. No, it's not I don't need another new friend. It's just like just go about your life, I wish you well, wish me well. Oh, when yeah. I see you, I'll say hi. There just won't be no ill will towards you. But we're not about to be kiki and then buddy buddy and me hanging out with your new girlfriend or you hanging out with my new boyfriend. That's true. We're not doing that with you. No. So. That's just <clears throat> Just once it ends, it ends. Once it ends, it ends. Okay, so that was the question. That was the, the answer to that Dear Tweeting Beauty, in which I agree. I guess I didn't think about how dumb it would be on the girl's part to agree to even have them come to the party. Which is really not smart. Yes. But you know, sometimes we move a little shifty, so we put it. So like even there. if you have like people around you and they see like he walks in and everybody like start whispering like why he here, why he here, and who the girl 
matter what though. Like they're looking at you. They're not even so much paying attention to him. They're like, why would you let him be here? Like that's And then you bring in a girl like Then you bring a new girl, girl, like you look stupid. That looks stupid. It's like, disrespectful and exalting. It's not it's not that serious. It's like a bunch of racists. Okay, so that was the Dear Tween Beauty question. Very great. We woke a scenario. Which was a good scenario. I think that yeah. was interesting. I like your input on that. So that was, that was good. Very enlightening. Girls gonna be stupid, that's all. I mean, uh -huh. Did you like put it down on this album? I did. Okay, I wanna hear that. Okay, so I guess we'll be back on that perfect talk show to wrap up. You can fall in love. I'm gonna put it down, down, you can fall in love. I'm gonna put it down, you can fall in love. I'm gonna put it down, down, you can fall in love. I'm gonna put it down, you can fall in love. I'm gonna put it down, down, you can fall in love. I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna put it down.